In this video, I'm going to share with you how to take a make.com scenario and run multiple modules at the same time using a router. I'm going to share my screen right now and explain exactly the concept. Right here, you have a basic scenario in make.com with a router. You have the router, the first route, the second route, and the third route. If I run this, you'll be able to see that on a basic setup, the first router will finish. And then once it finishes, only the second route will run. And once it finishes, only the third route will run. But I want to run all three of them at the same time. How do I do that? So first of all, we will not use this basic setup. We will change the setup. The first thing I want to do is separate each one of these routes to different scenarios. Route number one, route number two, and route number three. I've already prepared for this video, but you can do the same thing by yourself. What I did is I took the same sleep and set variables in my route number one, and I just copied them. In addition, what I did is I added a webhook. What is a webhook? It's a way for one application to use a URL to communicate information to another scenario or another application. In our case, we're going to have this first scenario communicate to route number one scenario, route number two, and route number three, and do the same task at the same time. So what are we doing right here? First of all, a webhook we need to set up. So we right click on add a module, I've already done it, and click on custom webhook. Custom webhook, when you create a new one, you will click on add, and it'll give you a URL. You will copy this address, and you will go back to your main scenario and create a new scenario right here with your modules, your router, and the first route. You will click on HTTP, make a request. If you click on add a new module, HTTP, and make a request. I've already done it right here. And all you will do is specify the URL here. For example, I pasted from the route number one right here, the URL, I got it. If you need to add additional data, for example, specify some variables and add them to this scenario, what you can do is you can click here and go all the way to the bottom, type in body type raw, content type text, and put the information you want to be received on the webhook right here. Now, this is the key important thing. Once it sends the information to the first route, you want it to continue at the same time to all of the other routes. So before you finish the route right here, you need to add another module called webhook response, telling the first step oh, I got it, I'm starting, and also I'm ready to proceed. So what you do is you specify webhook response, specify the status 200, which means yes, everything is okay, and specify some kind of text that the module can get it very, very quickly and move on to the next one. So basically, they'll be running almost at the same time, within a few milliseconds. Then you run the rest of your scenarios, and they can run for as long as needed. What I did is I did the same thing. I duplicated it for webhook route number two and number three. And in each route, I copy the different URL from the webhook. Now all I do is go to HTTP, copy and paste the URL from the first webhook, the second and the third. Right here is one, two, and three. And make sure they run. I can test it and let me show you exactly how it runs. Let's click on run right here. Make sure they're running just for the example and you can see what's going on. And I will run it. First of all, I'm going to specify to run from this flow, not from the flow on the top. I will click on start and it is running. You can see they all ran one, two, and three. This one is running. This one is running at the same time. And this one is running at the same time. And they are going to be finishing once these scenario finishes. This finished and this and this. I did not have to wait for each one to run. That's it. It's very simple. All you have to do is take a router run to the other webhook via HTTP, make a request, and then run your logic in each route, and you're good to go. All you have to do is duplicate it, and it's very, very easy to use. If this helped you in any way, just say hello, say that it helped you, ask any questions that you have, any more complex concepts, scenarios, or modules in make.com, and subscribe and like if you like this. Much, much appreciated. Thank you, guys.